welcome shiva students hope you are fine so today we are proceeding towards the next part of the chapter 11 save the environment of your learning a social studies book for 5 today we will learn the different forms of pollution the reasons that are responsible for the pollution and the small steps that we should take to control this pollution so first we will learn air pollution air pollution is a mixture of solid particles and gases in the air our environment has a fine balance of various gases and oxygen is one of the main components of it the air in earth's atmosphere is made up of approximately 78% of nitrogen and 21% of oxygen and small amounts of other gases too such as carbon dioxide neon and hydrogen etc all the living organisms require oxygen to breathe but the air is polluted due to the excessive use of fossil fuels like coal and petroleum etc now what is fossil fuels fossil fuels are primarily coal fuel oil or natural gas formed from the remains of dead plants and animals these fossil fuels when burnt produce the harmful gases such as carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide and other released by products of burning fuels from factories another important factor and a major environmental problem is ozone depletion now ozone depletion what does it mean before knowing ozone depletion first we will learn about the ozone layer the ozone layer is a deep layer in stratosphere now what is stratosphere stratosphere is one of the layers of the earth's atmosphere so ozone layer is a deep layer in stratosphere now what is the activity of this ozone layer ozone layer absorbs most of the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun to reach the earth ozone layer is the layer of stratosphere that absorbs most of the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun to reach the earth and this harmful rays can cause many harmful diseases like eye damage skin problems and even cancer also and ozone depletion depletion means depletion means a reduction in number or quantity for example when forests get cut down we say the depletion of forest so ozone depletion is like that so ozone depletion is primarily caused by human activities it is depleting very fast because of the overuse of cfcs means chlorofluorocarbons and many other pollutant gases this chlorofluorocarbon gases contain carbon hydrogen chlorine and fluorine clear so ozone is a gas in the atmosphere that protects everything living on the earth from harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun and without the layer of ozone it would be difficult for anything 
to survive on the surface. Now, the scientists have observed big holes in the ozone layer which directly affects on human health and other organisms also. Now, see the holes in ozone layer. Now, we have to be sincere about our activities that are responsible for this air pollution and some preventive measures or precautions should be followed to reduce air pollution. What are they? They are like burning fossil fuels should be reduced. We should minimize air pollution from cars and other vehicles. Burning of plastic waste should be strictly avoided to stop the poisonous gases. Solar energy and wind power should be applied, should be used. Using of cleaner fuels like CNG, CNG full form compressed natural gas. So using of cleaner fuels like CNG should be used to avoid vehicular pollution. And the most important thing to reduce the air pollution is planting more and more trees. See here the people are planting trees. So with this planting trees and other precautions we can control air pollution. Clear? So now we are coming to water pollution. We will learn about water pollution. Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies like lakes, rivers, oceans as well as the groundwater. Now what are the causes of water pollution? Different causes of water pollution are industrial waste, sewage of wastewater from cities, mining activities, accidental oil leakage, etc. Now what are the effects of water pollution? Means how is it harmful to us? So it is harmful to us in different ways. Like polluted water is harmful for living organisms both for aquatic or non-aquatic animals also. Polluted water can cause many diseases like jaundice, gastroenteritis, typhoid, cholera, dysentery, amoebiasis and malaria. Clear? Now, what should we do to control this water pollution? So, the important steps to stop this water pollution are not to dispose of household chemicals or oil down the sink or toilet. To minimize sewage water, sewage waste. Clear? Now, disposing of dead bodies and other human waste directly to rivers should be discouraged and prohibited. All chemical wastes should be disposed of at a designated place. Bathing or washing clothes in the rivers must be discouraged to avoid the harmful chemicals in water from soaps and detergents. Now see here people are washing their clothes. Here they are taking bath also. Here you see the industrial waste is directly coming to the river. The dirty water or the dirty 
uh, waste these all are coming from home from this from our home it is coming to the river and dirty water is also coming to agricultural field so students we have to be sincere regarding all this so what we have learned today today we have learned the detailed study about air pollution and water pollution you gained knowledge about ozone layer and its depletion the reason of the depletion the reasons and effects of air pollution and water pollution and the preventive measures to get rid of or reduce the pollutions so in the next class we will learn about the other pollutions in detail and today you learn up to this of your chapter learn the difficult spellings read all the lines carefully okay now enjoy your day with your study and with your family stay safe om namah shivaya